Good day everyone. So today I will be your professor in the subject educational technology and today I am going to discuss to you about a very significant topic relating to the educational technology in the 21st century skill. So to formally start the class hour, we will now be proceeding with the prayer. So I will be asking Miss Catherine Kate to formally lead the prayer for today. Thank you so much for that prayer. Now, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So again, I will be your professor and I will be discussing to you the topic for today. But before we formally proceed to the presentation of the topic, let's first have our motivation. So motivation, we, I will be activating your prior knowledge about this topic. So I will be asking about your ideas and I would like you to share your opinions and experiences about this activity. So the mechanics of the motivation will be your, your student or you will be given a topic or a copy of a game card below. So this is our game card. So all they must do is to put a check mark on any site that they are using and if they have an account on this site. For example, if you have an account on the following social networking site, you will just put a check under it and after that you will be required to share your answers to, to the class. And now, after the activity, are you an active social media network user? How did you say so, Miss Catherine? Thank you so much for that answer. The next question will be, what are your most used social networking sites? Are you a, a very active social media user so you have most accounts of different social networking sites? And then, so to formally start the topic introduction, our topic for today will be about social networking sites. My name is Mr. Cedric John Noalejo, a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English at Colegio ng Lungsod ng Lipa. And now we have main three objectives that we have to attain at the end of this discussion. The first one is to you must be able to recognize different social networking sites. Second, be able to understand the importance of knowing what to do in using different social networking sites and the last one will be apply understanding of social networking sites so as we go through along the discussion of this class hour we will be able to hopefully attain all our objectives for today so now I will be presenting to you a video I have here the link and after watching the video we will be conducting a groupings or an activity regarding the video or the topic for today now there will be four groups I will be dividing the class into four and the group one will be named the Facebook group the second one will be named as the Twitter group the third group will be the Instagram and the last group will be the snapchat group so here is the instruction okay each group will open and use the site assigned to them as their group name they will look for five social media posts that shows proper use of social media and five posts that shows improper use and at the end of the activity you should be able to discuss and explain and share your answers to the class okay now I will be giving you 10 minutes to discuss and to answer the group activity thank you so much for your cooperation class give yourselves five claps so now, based on the activity, how can you say that one post is proper or improper? Yes, Ms. Rizel. Very good. We can say that one post in any social networking site is proper if it adheres to the rules and regulation of that site. We are all aware that, for example, Facebook, Facebook has different guidelines, rules and regulations that must be followed or adhered by the user or an active user of it just like we have in YouTube, Google, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, and any other social networking site. Second question, what are you doing to show proper use of social media or network? Yes, Mr. Selimin. Okay, very good answer as well. So as a student, you should be a model and you should be aware of how to properly use different social networking sites, okay? And we have these different circumstances where cyberbullying are arising. Cyberbullying cyber is a very important matter that must be discussed 
in order for students in, and in order for everyone to prevent and avoid from conducting such act, okay? Next, let us now proceed in defining what is the, our main topic for today. What is social networking? So I know and I am aware that most of you based on our activity mode and motivation previously that you are an active social media network user and you have different social media accounts that you are using in order to connect, in order to post, and in order to socialize, okay? Now we will be defining what is social networking. So this is the definition of social networking. It is an online platform that allows users to create public profile just like what you are used doing on Facebook and different social media sites and interact with other users. That's why you have mo most of the time you are having friends interact with you. And social networking sites usually have a new user input, a list of people with whom they share a connection and then allow the people on the list to confirm or deny connection. After connections are established, the new, new user can search the networks of connections and make more connections. So by the use of different social networking sites or social media, we were able to build connections. We were able to share insights and opinions. We were able to interact with, the, with different people all around the globe and we can now easily communicate through the use of different social media networking sites. But we, in using social networking sites, we have this responsibility to properly use and utilize the usage of it, okay? Now, after defining what is social networking site, we must first also realize the top seven most used social networking sites, okay? So now, student, I want you to identify which of these seven sites are you using, okay? So the top one is Facebook. So Facebook is the number one most used social networking site all around the world, followed by YouTube in which we can watch different videos. The third is WhatsApp. WhatsApp is also a messaging application and same as Messenger, Facebook Messenger as the fourth. And then WeChat as a messaging application as well and Instagram when you can upload photos, okay? And then the last one is a very prominent and most used as of these days during the quarantine, we have the TikTok. So I, uh, I'm also aware that most of you guys during the quarantine are also doing different TikTok videos that you are uploading and your friends are liking it, okay? And now I have here a question and I want you to evaluate yourselves and answer this question personally, okay? So the question is, what to do in order to properly use social networking sites? So what are we doing in order to promote the proper usage of social networking sites? Are we the kind of person who use social media to cyber bully other people, to promote and to spread fake news, or we are the kind of person who are very responsible and aware of how to properly use social media. Now, these are the tips on how we can properly use social media. Number one, talk about safety and privacy online in ways that youth can protect themselves. So in using social media or social networking sites, we are exposing ourselves, but we should be aware of our limitations. Number two, encourage balance of social media. We should not always use our time in scrolling and in serving different social networking sites. Number three, encourage youth to maintain offline relationships. So after using social media, you should have your offline life. You should still continue your lifestyle offline. You should not just use online different sites to communicate and to build relationships. Number four, support self-esteem nurtured through offline activities and interests. So you should also be have different habits. You should be playing outside than just instead of just scrolling with your phones and laptops or any gadgets. And the last one will be be aware of cyberbullying because cyberbullying has been affecting lives of different youths, especially the age group of the youth. And some of the potential signs of who might be bullying or getting bullied online, including su sudden changes in their social media. So we should prevent cyberbullying in any means, especially 
in di using different social media accounts because we are now aware of these proper ways of using social media. Next, I have here an activity again and I have entitled it as post it, tweet it and like it. So here is the directions of this activity. Students will be asked to use their mobile devices, most of you have cell phones with you, to create a digital poster about or following this statement. So I want you to make a picture poster with this statement and all you have to do is to follow and put your own statement about this. Okay. I am responsible social media user because blank, which means you, will, you are going to fill out this with your own thoughts. Okay. So you will be posting it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or any social media account that you have. Now, we will be conducting an assessment. So I have here five questions. The directions are clear. Identify whether the statement is an example of proper usage of social networking site or not. You just have to write proper. If it, is, if it shows proper usage of social media and the word not, if it does not follow the proper usage of social media. Okay, so you have the papers with you. All you have to do is to answer the sheets given to you. Okay. Now, after the assessment, I have noticed that most of you guys are are having high grades and high results of the examination. So I would like to congratulate you. So give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> now, for the last part of my presentation, here is the assignment which will be checked on our next meeting. So this is an essay type of test, so meaning this is subjective. So this will be graded based on your own thoughts. So the directions in three paragraphs you have to explain this statement. So this is a statement by Eric Burry. So this is still related to social networking sites. So here's the statement. Don't say anything online that you wouldn't want plastered on a billboard with your face on it. So I only have here two criteria: content 50% and the grammar 50% as well with a total of 100%. So now after the discussion of the topic, before we end the class, do you have any question, violent reactions, or additional information regarding the topic? Thank you so much for that. Now, thank you students for listening. I hope that you were able to realize the importance of using social media properly, okay? So at the end of this class, I have noticed that we have successfully attained the goal or the three objectives of our class. So again, my name is Mr. Cedric John Owaleho, your educational technology teacher. So this is my requirement to, to our subject, PEC 107. Thank you students for listening. 